Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so I got a new tattoo today and I would just want to do a tattoo care video because I know there's like people who don't have tattoos they are like, oh, so what should you do? What should you do about this? What about this? And it's like, I don't know why they just don't look it up themselves, but I guess I'll just do a video of it. I mean, I don't really mind. I am going to do another because I have like, I have eight tattoos right now. I have one right here and then the rest are down this arm. And then I have two big tattoo ideas and then I probably won't get any more tattoos because that would be like 10. And I really am trying not to get covered in them, but they are so addictive and I have a really bad like addictive personality. So I'm going to try to stop at 10, 10 tattoos. And so I am going to do like a huge tattoo video after I get my 10th one. But this one is specific and go into detail about what all my tattoos mean and the stories behind them, etc. But this one's going to be more of a tattoo care video. So I'm just going to go into explicit detail about the one I just got. So I think it's about 6 o'clock. I got it yesterday. Wow. It's 6 o'clock. I got it at 4 o'clock today. So I got it a few hours ago. I'm really kind of nervous because like I said, um... I don't know if I said this. I mean, like I meant to say when I was explaining it in the beginning. Um, People ask me about tattoos and like how to take care of them or whatever after you get them. I'm not saying I'm a tattoo expert. I'm not saying like I know, oh, this is what you should and should not do. I'm just saying I have eight tattoos and none of them have ever gotten infected. None of them have ever. And I got this one done at one shop, two shops. No. Yeah, one, two, two shops, same shop. So four done at one shop by four different people. Yeah, four done by four different people in three different shops. And none of them have gotten infected. So some people say the tattoo artist is the reason why the tattoo got infected. That is very possible. I'm not saying it isn't. That is very, very possible. Um, for multiple different reasons how a tattoo artist could trigger an infection on the tattoo they gave you. Um, I'm just saying um, the way I've cared for my tattoo and recklessly caring for them can also cause an infection. There's lots of things that can cause a tattoo to get infected. But I'm just saying I've, the things I've done have never caused it to get infected. So here's what I do. So basically... Um, I'm a little nervous though. This is going to be different. Most of my tattoos are on my arm. So I keep them bandaged. I keep them wrapped. Um, I keep them clean. I wash them with dial soap. Um, do I have? No. Okay. So this is the last, this is not a good one to show you. Um, I should have went out and bought it before I did this video, but this dial is incredible i love washing up with this in general but it works one i've been using this for my tattoo since i got a tattoo like i'm 22 i'll be 23 in may it's currently the end of march so i'm basically 23 i got my first tattoo at 16 yes my mom signed for it, it you know i got my first tattoo at 16 and i bought a huge bottle of dial it's like it's like a pretty good size bottle it's like that big it's a uh, no scent it's no scent no anything um it says antibacterial wash it's like really really good um i really should have bought it so actually let me see do i have one that i should have oh this one or you can use this one I just wouldn't use like the heavily scented ones or the ones with the beads in it. But the, the blue one I just showed you, I've used that before. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. So you basically, I wash my tattoos like three, four times a day. I kind of scrub it real good and then I wrap it back up. I normally just wrap mine in like plastic wrap. And um, But the reason this video is going to be hard to demonstrate how to keep it clean is because I'm a dental assistant. I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos, but I'm a dental assistant. So I'm always working with my hands, 24-7 working with my hands, constantly. Um, I'm taking gloves off, putting gloves back on, throwing away gloves, putting gloves back on, cleaning rooms in people's mouths. I'm washing my hands, putting gloves on, taking gloves off, use hand sanitizer, cleaning um, instruments. It's always back and forth with my hands, 24-7. So, um, it's going to be hard. 
I should have waited. I will be off of work for at least two weeks when I move in June. I don't know why I um, just had to have it right now. I don't have really good patience. Not having good patience is only good. It's only been good for when I need, when I'm making money. Cause I'll get another job. I'll work two, three jobs, have a side hustle, hustle up the money I want and need. And then it's fine. That's the only time me having no patience has worked out for me. Other times, like I've done, stu I knew this was going to be a problem. I've given, I start back at work on Monday. I've given myself, it's Saturday. I've given myself two days to recover from this. Tattoos normally take about a week for me to recover. Um, another thing, it is getting sunny outside, it's getting hot, like I just said, it's about to be April. So, if you're, um, if you're, um, outside and you have a tattoo and it's in the sunlight, it will burn. At least for me, it hurts. If I have a tattoo and sun is hitting it, it's gonna sing. It, it, I've never had sun bone, I'm, you know, I'm mixed. So, when the sun hits my skin, I just turn darker. Um, from what I've heard from um caucasians or people that do get sunburned they say it's like a sunburn so when like the heat hits it for a long period of time it's like a sunburn it's wrapped right now it's been about two hours since it's been wrapped um i don't need to wash it right now i'm not gonna wash it right now i will wash it right when i go to brush my teeth again tonight and I also, because this arm has always been like, you know, the tattoo arm, I sleep with this arm like propped up. Like I try not to let it on anything. I do try to sleep with my arm hanging off the bed, but the way my bed is leaned up against the wall, that is not going to work. It is so pretty and I love it so. Okay. It's a bow. He did an amazing job. It is gorgeous i literally am so happy it only holds sorry for the dogs barking it only holds when it only hurt when let's see if i can show you when he got like right heel like right there is when he started this thing people said hand and feet tattoos hold and this didn't hold as bad as I thought it would. Like, honestly, like, I am doing a whole tattoo video, so I don't, I won't go into this in too much detail. The only tattoo that really fucking hurt me was this. I'm so little that I cannot believe I did that. That hurt so bad. That one kind of hurt. I fell asleep for the back one. But this came out so good. I love it so much. So, I already washed my hands. You make sure your hands are clean before you touch your tattoo. You make sure your hands are clean. And I just take this. This is my best friend. I use this as I'm about to actually put it on my lips. It is amazing. I use it. I did. Nobody ever told me to get this. I got this. I you would think putting Vaseline. People say you can put Vaseline on a tattoo. In my opinion, Vaseline is really good for putting on your feet and your hands. And it's really good for putting on dry skin. Um, I use it as a lip gloss and chapstick. But for tattoos, it's good for tattoos if you... People put Vaseline on tattoos. And it does work. It really does work. Like, I'm not going to, like, shit on it, actually. It, it really does work. I just feel like this is a lot better. Like, it is really, really good. Um... It's not expensive. You can find it at Walmart, um, Kroger, Target, um, you know, your basic drugstore. It's, it's good. It's good. It's the best. I love this so much. Um, like I said, you just take it. And um, when you do have a tattoo, keeping it wrapped is really, really good. But it has to breathe. So my hand, what time is it? No, that I flipped it over. What time is it? So my hand has been wrapped for about two two hours. So I'm gonna let it breathe. I let it breathe for maybe about two hours. I'll let it breathe, but then I'm gonna wrap it right back up. So it's kind of like on and off. That's what I do. I'm not saying I know what I'm doing. I'm not saying that I have the best method. And if you don't do what I do, or they get infected, or you're not taking care of it well. I'm just saying that that's what I do. I keep it, um, 
keep it wrapped for an hour, unwrap it, let it breathe for a couple hours, wrap it back up. It's like off and on. Um, so I just take it and I just take it and I just put it on. I layer it kind of thick, layer it kind of thick, you know, it's cute. Keep it like that. And I'll probably let it, it, I probably won't wrap it again. It's six something, 619, probably won't wrap it back up until like 830. And then I'll keep it wrapped for a while, like letting it breathe, but keeping it safe. Like that's what I do. And then I'll probably wash it at 830 and then put this, I never wrap it dry. So around 830, I'm going to wash it, put this back on it and then wrap it. And I will show you guys that in the video. So, so this is day one. This is what it looks like so far. And it looks it looks really, really good. Um, I'm going to show you guys from start to finish. So it is Saturday and I'm going to show you guys from Saturday to Saturday what it looks like and how it heals and all that, etc. But as of right now, it looks really, really good. I'm very happy with it. The shading is beautiful. It doesn't even hold. Like when I did that one, it felt like I cut my wrist like a hundred times. This doesn't hold. Um, people say the hand holds the walls. I don't know if they mean like I don't know this just doesn't hold but I also have an extreme like high pain tolerance and pain holds me obviously but it doesn't bother me like I I absorb pain rather well so I don't know this didn't hold this didn't hold I'm not you they say face hands and feet hold the walls so i'm saying like you guys might get a hand tattoo and it might fucking bone for like five hours after you get it there's nothing i can do about that i'm just saying this does not hold me i also have other tattoos i don't know if it'd be you guys's first second third fourth fifth tattoo but the hand does not this does not hold i don't even feel anything it, it's not holding me at all i'm flexing it um normally moving it like when i got this done if i did like this it hold um i had you know put the ice on it like i put like two ice cubes in a bag of water like that and like sat it on top for like a few minutes and that kind of helped um i ate an aproxen i think i took a shot after the tattoo because you're not supposed to smoke or drink before it but yeah honestly this this is fine like this this doesn't hold me at all the hand tattoo didn't hold at all like i'm fine Okay, guys, that's day one. I'll come back to you guys around 8 o'clock tonight to show you guys how it's looking, how to wash it, how to rewrap it. I obviously don't have any hand tattoos, so I don't know how to... He had, like, he had, like, saran wrap that was, like, this big. I don't know. I don't even know where to buy that. So I'm just... And cutting saran wrap is going to be the most difficult thing in the world. So I'm not sure. Anything with saran wrap is honestly kind of ridiculous. So I don't know how I'm going to wrap my hand. But I will come back to you guys later tonight. Mwah. Hi, guys. Okay, so I'm super dumbass late on washing my hand. And I can't believe it's the... It's because I have eight tattoos and I, I know how far I can push the limits. Please don't do what I do. Wash your hand. Um, hand. Wash your tattoo like every two to three hours. Make sure it stays wrapped. Make sure it stays moisturized. Please don't do what I do. Okay, so... I'm going to wash my hand in the shower, but I'll show you. I'm sorry. I'm really, really late. I might do this in the... I'm really, really late to... Um, but it looks good. It still looks super good. It's super amazing. I'm in love. Like, this is, like, my favorite tattoo. Like, I thought my 1998 was, like, my favorite, but no, bitch. You've been replaced. Yas. Um, my tattoo still doesn't hold. Um... They say, I looked it up, they say the hand, it, the hand and feet, um, face and like neck are sensitive, but they say like hand and feet tattoos hold the most. This thing doesn't hold, I've been doing this, I've been painting, I've been painting. So I'll put it up like right now. Um, that's what took so long. That's why I was late. I told you guys that, um, I was gonna wash it like at 8.30, I think I said, 8 or 9.30. It is, let's see, it is 11.25, I have not washed it. I obviously did put some more of the Aquadact, Aqu I don't even, I think it's Aquadact. I put some more of that on my hand to help with it, but I am so sorry. I normally would wash it like every two to three hours, but I got caught up in a painting. I did two paintings, I did a painting video, the painting video took like an hour and a half, and then after I did the painting video, I did another painting behind it. 
I just didn't um I just didn't film it. But I took one video and then another video. I mean I took I did one painting that took an hour and then I took did another painting that took like 30 minutes and they were really small. They weren't like the normal large ass paintings I do. So I'm really really sorry, but I am gonna wash my hand when I get in the shower, but I'm gonna show you how to wash it right now because I'm just gonna like I wash everything twice. When I brush my teeth, I brush my teeth twice. When I wash my body out, I, I wash it, I let everything drip, then I wash it again. So I'm gonna wash my hand twice. You just wash it once. I'm crazy. So. Okay, so. I'm pretty much, because it's on my hand, I'm just gonna wash my hands. Okay, so. You make sure the water is warm, not too hot, not too cold. It doesn't hold. Well, one of the tattoos I used to wash, it holds. This one holds to wash. You just make sure it's nice and clean, nice and clean. See? Nice and clean in case dog got on it, if you got pets, in case any of their dand or their fur got on it. And then, like I said, I'm going to get in the shower. Um, I have to wash my hair and my face and all that good stuff. So after I get done doing all that, I will show you how to put the aqueduct back on it and then wrap it and then I'll check back in with you guys on Wednesday to show you guys what is that Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday that'll be about five days out and then I'll check back in with you on no that'll be four days because then Saturday would be Saturday would be seven days because that's a week I actually don't know how I'm gonna do it I might I was I don't know I might just take a picture of my hand and then check back in with you guys like video wise on Monday and show you pictures of what it looked like Monday. I mean check back in with you guys on Wednesdays. Wednesday and then show you what it looked like Monday and Tuesday. I mean Sunday, Monday and Tuesday versus filming every single day. I haven't decided how I'm going to do the video. I'll just kind of play it by ear. But I will check in with you guys right after I get out of the shower and stop wasting water. Okay.
Hey guys, so it is Wednesday, and as you can see, it's getting into the peeling stage where it gets kind of dry and it's itchy and it kind of needs that cream all the time. So I I never put lotion on my tattoos. I never do anything like that. I always use the cream I was telling you guys about. So I always, always put this on my tattoos. See, it even says for like cracked and irritated skin. So at this point, the tattoo is probably going to be itchy. It's probably going to be dry. You know, um, don't scratch it. I don't even pat my tattoos. I don't pat them. I don't scratch at them. I don't do anything like that. Anything like that. I just keep putting this cream on it over and over. So, see it? And then... So then you just put more and more cream on it. I try to put it on. I'm still washing the tattoo at least two to three times a day. But because it's starting to get itchy, because it's starting to heal, because I got it done on Saturday, it's Wednesday, putting this cream on it all the time is going to be really important. I thought that hand tattoos would hold, but honestly, but honestly, this tattoo did not hold at all. It really, it really didn't hold at all. Um, it still doesn't hold. And I'm, like I said, I'm a dental assistant, so I'm taking gloves on and off every five seconds. I'm taking them off to clean the room to re and then rewrap the room. In the patient's mouth, out of a patient's mouth, leave the room, come back in the room. You know, if I pick something up off the floor, change my gloves, you know, it's like very repetitive. I'm washing my hands and using hand sanitizer every five seconds. I never put hand sanitizer on this part. I always like put it on this part of my hand. But anyway, guys, I, um, it doesn't hold. It's just in that itchy, cracky phase. And when it gets in this phase, it's really hard not to itch them, but, um, you can't itch them. Even though with these nails on, there was a tattoo that I itched. I can't remember if it was this one or that one, but I did like itch one of them because they were so itchy. I can't remember which one. I think it was, I think it was that one. Yeah, it was definitely that one. Well, I would itch it because it was itchy, but I made sure I had acrylics on because my real nails will like leave a deep ass cut. Like it will leave a deep ass cut. But anyway, this, um, yeah, it doesn't hold. So my recommendation for like hand tattoos, they don't really hold. Um, it didn't hold me. Like I said, this was my most painful. It didn't hold. It um, the only time it hold getting this tattoo is when he got to like about the like when he got to like the very. Okay. When he got to about there, like right there and right there was when it started to hold but other than that it was just like normal tattoo like after he gets started a minute into it you don't even feel it so hand tattoo I totally recommend them I love my bows so much and they don't they don't it didn't really hold like I said I do have a high pain tolerance but it didn't hold um and I'm taking gloves on and off all day so I thought taking gloves on and off all day would irritate my hand at best it did not irritate it I did have to keep putting the cream on it a lot but it did not irritate my hand it did not hold my hand it didn't make it worse I couldn't imagine like with anything right here having to take a sleeve on and off or having to take glove material on and off of it all day while flexing like while flexing this area all day but I really thought this was gonna hold and I really thought I was gonna be in pain but it was fine it's totally cool it's healing up great um like I said I got it done Saturday it's Wednesday it's coming together very beautifully I love it so 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 much I'm gonna put my tattoo artist um I'm gonna put my tattoo artist Instagram page up on heel and I love it so much his work is so good and I'm very 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 happy thank you guys so much for watching and I might pick back up on Friday to Saturday but it is still doing really really good and I'm very happy anyway guys like I said I will get back to you guys on maybe Friday or Saturday because I want to keep checking in periodically but mid midway process it doesn't heal it's just you know the first few days it holds a little bit and now it's in the itching phase so anyway but i love you guys so much thank you guys for watching Mwah. hi guys it is saturday so I, like i told you guys 
Um, I was gonna go Saturday the Saturday, and here it is. Um, I don't have any cream on it right now, but it is healed. Um, it doesn't, doesn't hold, doesn't hold. Nope, it doesn't hold at all. It never really hold. It never hold. Like I said, this one hold when I, you know, I couldn't even touch it. But okay, guys, and this is post two weeks. Um, I accidentally cut that last clip out of the video, but this is post two weeks. It looks good. It feels good. It still um came out good. Obviously, it doesn't hold. And um, so after about a week. Or so, I want to say after about four days, it doesn't hold. Now, like I said previously, depending on where you get the tattoo, it could hold, like, um, depending on how much moving you have to do in that area. But I did have this on my hand, and I'm a dental assistant, and I do have to take gloves on and off. Like, you know, take gloves off, wash my hands, put gloves on, uh, put them back. Like, it's a very repetitive, constant things of ripping gloves off and washing my hands and using rubbing alcohol and uh, using hand sanitizer all day, every day. So, but my hand didn't hold. Everything was fine. I highly recommend hand tattoos. Um, it came out good. I still love it. And it was just a fun experience. And because I'm trying to solely stay on my left arm and not do anything on my left arm I mean on my right hand I don't know how I'm going to get another hand tattoo but I fully intend to anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope this really helped don't forget you have to wash your tattoo really really well you have to keep medicine on it you can use Vaseline I just use the other cream because it's like thicker and it works really well for tattoos but I you can use Vaseline people do use it I've used it before so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys this first tattoo goes well or i hope if you were just watching this for like some kale tips i hope that goes well as well love you guys Mwah.